So good morning. My name is Neeraj Kheria and I have been working in this IT industry for more than 13 years now. So the main agenda for today's session, we are going to discuss on the concept of data visualization. We are going to discuss why Tableau, what exactly it is, how we can get started on installing Tableau and what are different visualization available in Tableau platform as a part of a discussion step by step as we move further. All right, so let's get started. Now, since the 4G revolution back in 2016, so they have been generating enormous amount of data set, and that's why the companies they need to have a good, I can say, a good tool through which they can analyze that large sets of data by using tools like we have Power BI, we have Tableau, which is basically one of the main players in the data visualization industry. And why tableau again tableau has multiple advantages as compared to other platforms so basically when we are visualizing different data set we get a better idea on what exactly the trend is and how we can derive some sense out of the data that we have shared and when we are using the graphical visualization we are simply making sure that we are using the complete power for any data set because for example when you're working with any data set we have to make sure that we have to present the entire report in the most visualization format possible for example instead of referring to a table it's always advisable to go ahead and present the same data in the format of pie charts or graphs or histograms or bar tables so that we can have a click so that even the stakeholders those who are completely new in the technical domain they can have a really good understanding what exactly the domain is all about and how they can start manipulating the services one by one so that they can derive the meaning just by looking at it and then we can simply improvise the efficiency with which we are trying to visualize the current data set and in terms of scope of visual analytics again we have multiple domains available starting from information analytics from geospatial analytics from, from performing scientific analytics from knowledge and discovery we have the field for data management knowledge and re representation we can also work for presentation production and dissemination cognitive and perceptual analysis as well step by step as we move further with the course with the entire power bi platform and power bi has multiple advantages as compared to other platforms and because there's a reason why power bi or why power bi and Tableau, these two are the most widely used in the industry. So if we talk about why Tableau, then first of all, Tableau allows us to access multiple data connection. That means Tableau easily connects to nearly any data source, be it corporate data warehouse, Microsoft Excel, or web-based data. We can perform multiple live analysis on Tableau as well. For example, we can connect to any of the data sources and we can start analyzing the data Spatially, we can also perform the analysis on not only on the past data but also on the live data as well. And Tableau is pretty good at recommending which visualization to use based on the data that we have selected. And they can show smartly, then I can say they can highlight view types that go specs with the field types attributes in the given data set. For example, we have some geospatial data, then we can use them you know, then. Tableau is going to recommend us to use that particular visualization tool as compared to the other platforms. And then apart from the visualization part here, we do have the access to maps as well. So basically, unlike Power BI, Tableau uses the map in the most simplest format possible. And we can easily select it from the show me list where we can show the type of map that we want to use and then we can get started on using it. Now. First of all, we can use Tableau platform to get connected and we can use it to establish the connection between multi from multiple sources. For example, we want to connect MySQL database, we want to connect to Amazon Redshift, we want to connect to any Oracle server, or we have a local file available in CSP, JSON, or text document, then we can easily connect to these different available data sources one by one. So that we don't have to worry about installing any other SDKs or installing any plugins, we can right away deploy the instances and then we can start working on it right away we can do that all right so before we can see the hands-on let's look at how we can install tableau platform so tableau is available both in terms of enterprise and we also have a public version also available directly by tableau so when we are using a public version that means we are using simply a community version that we can use to get started so for example if you want to download 
Tableau public that let me share the public link for Tableau so that we can get started on using it. So basically we have two versions available. If you want to get started for free, then we can use Tableau public where we have to enter the email address and then we can use Tableau platform free of course with having some basic functionalities defined. So if you want to use the enterprise solution, then that is offered as a trial. And if you want to get started for free, then we can use the Tableau public. Just like we have Power BI desktop available for free. Now, once we have successfully installed Tableau public, we can go ahead and run it. So using Tableau public, we can simply start the analysis on any of the sample database, or we can import the sample data already available in Tableau platform. So let's say if you want to start working on any data set right away, then we can choose Microsoft Excel text file, JSON script, or we can use the sample data set. For example, we also have the access to multiple data source available that we can choose from. So for example, we have a local Excel file that we can choose Excel. So here we can go ahead and use our sample data set. So for example, we do have the access to a superstore data. So here we can import this superstore data where we have access to orders, to people and to return different sheets we have available. For example, we want to see the list for the details for orders. So here in this sample data set, we have the order ID, order date, the shipment date, shipment mode, customer ID, customer name, segment, country, city, state, the postal codes, region and the product ID. Defined. So we can use these different sample data set and then we can start working on the sample data sets right away. Suppose for any point of time we want to change the source of given data. So here we can click on data, new data source, and here we can choose from any of the given samples. For example, for EU supposed to or sample for world indicators, or we can get connected to an Excel file, text file, JSON file, we can get connected to Microsoft Access or we can get connected to any Google Sheets or any particular database as well. We can easily do that. So once we have the access to this data set, so here we can now here, if you want, we can define these their relationship as well. So for example, we have multiple, now we want to define multiple relationships. So here we can simply drag the sheets. For example, here we want to make sure that order and people and even the returns are, they all are connected. So here we can define the relationship so that we can establish a relationship between these different sheets that we have created. So if you want that, okay, the people and returns are a part of the sheet that we have created, then we can choose this relationship model. And then we can start visualizing the entire data set. As for the requirement, we can easily define the entire data set. We can define the relationships as well. And then we can start customizing the data as per the requirement. So let's say we want to start working on the visualization part. So here we can choose any of the dates. And to get started here, we can click on, on the bottom section, which says sheet one. And here we have the list of all the orders available and all the categories that we have. So now we can get started on working on these different categories or data that we want to focus on. So for example, we want to focus on uh, here in terms of rows, we want to focus on sector. So for example, here we can see here we have category, city, city, country, rows, segment, shipment date, the discount, profit, quantity, or different orders that we have received. That means the data that we have currently access to. So we can choose any data pointer and then we can choose a visualization method on how we can start visualizing the current data set as per the requirement that we have. So now to get started here, we can choose any of the category of data that we want to visualize. For example, let's say we want to visualize the sale. That means we have a problem statement that we need to solve. That means here we want to, to see the profit ratio given for each and every year. So we can, now for seeing the profit ratio, first of all, we can simply drag and drop it in the row section where we can see the entire details for the profit that we have generated. Now we want to visualize it on year to year plus we want to visualize it on a monthly on a quarterly basis and that too for each and every month as well so what we can do we can simply drag for example here we want to visualize this on a given timeline correct that means how and how the entire profit ratios have been structured so we can define now if you want to see the division based on the country if you want to see the division based on any particular order date as well so we can simply define that one by one. So for example, here we want to visualize this on top of the year data. 
under the row section we have defined the profit and then under columns we have defined the entire year and for the current two formats we can see in the right sidebar we have multiple type of visualization offered so based on the current data that we have it automatically scans what kind of visualization will be possible with the current data set whether we want to go for a graph whether we want to go for a bar graph or we want to go for a heat map or a pie chart for a box plot so depending upon the requirement it is depending upon the current data set it is going to scan accordingly now currently we are seeing the entire division of data in a complete year itself suppose if you want to split this if you want to split this in multiple quarters we can simply click it we can simply click on plus and since we have data for four years we can see the split we have simply divided the entire profit ratio that we have in different year so that we can have a better clarity so we can see here in 2014 and 15 the profit ratios were almost the same there were no drastic changes but in 2016 and from third quarter of 2016 we saw a steep increase in the number in the amount of profit but in 2017 we saw a steep decrease in the amount of profit as well in the second quarter and then we saw a steady increase from the second quarter onwards and this is what we have done based on multiple year and if you want to segregate this even further so we can simply click on so here we can simply filter it out so here we can filter it out based on the request for example here we can filter this out based on month on day and also on more available data so for example we want to see a clear segregation based on month then we can choose month and then we can start the revision accordingly for example again from given month here we want to again segregate this on a daily basis then we can have a clear cut decision and whenever we want to change the visualization type we can always do that because from seeing the data for each and every day we can always segregate this to each and every month and day accordingly depending upon how exactly we want to visualize the current data set now we do have multiple visualization tools also available for example currently we want to segregate this current data set now currently we have moved back to our profit ratio that we have seen across multiple years so if you, now if you want to segregate them based on multiple visualization as well so here if you want to split the entire data based on each and every year so here we can simply drag the column data and then we can put in the color because these are different formats in which we can customize a given data set for example we want to define different colors for each and every year so here we can drag it down all the way down to colors so basically what we had done here we have dragged it down to colors so here we are seeing a complete distinction on how exactly we want to visualize the current data set based on different colors based on different years altogether so that we can have a clear cut distinction on how exactly data is going to be distributed so we can see now we have different color set defined for different data set for a monthly basis so we're not strong so how to decide what will be in the column and what will be in the row so basically the dependent variables are generally defined on the row itself and then we have independent variables are generally designed defined on the y-axis and that's why as you can see here the entire timeline has been defined on x-axis and then the entire numerical value that means the independent variables they are defined on the y-axis itself all right now here we can segregate the entire data if you want now if you are looking to segregate the data even further for example let's say we want to see the category of products which has performed the best for us so we can also drag the components of category and now we can see the entire data being split into four equal parts so basically here we have three different category of data available like we have for, for furniture for office supplies and for technology so here we can see the three different categories of data being available so now if we are going now if we are going to solve the issue of uh, we can see the problem statement that means for which of the category we saw the most decline or which of the category is most profitable and which is not profitable at all then we can have a clear distinction based on the based on the data that we are currently referencing here and same way if you want to see if you want to segregate it even further based on the entire sales record then we can easily visualize them once by one so for example let's say if you want to define the, the category as a part of tooltip then we can define the, the tooltip itself and then we can see the entire category being defined as a tooltip depending upon or let's say if you want to define the product name now whenever any of the users if they are segregating on the current data set for example currently we want to segregate them based on different data sets and 
we want that whenever we are segregating them, we want to define this as a part of tooltip. Tooltip as in whenever we point this to the multiple tooltip, for example, we want any user starts pointing at any given timeline, then they should be seeing more details as in for which category and for which particular furniture type it or technology product the current segregation was seen. So depending upon the use case, we can have a clear distinction as per the requirement. And apart from that, now we also have, as you can say, we have the data set for geospatial as well. So basically here we have defined multiple categorical data sets. So currently what we had done, currently we are visualizing the entire profit distribution among different categories available in the given data set. So if we have a question that we need to solve that, for example, we want to analyze which particular category has been the most profitable for the, for the company and when the profit were recorded and if there was a steep decline in the profits and what exactly the timeline was and that's why we are defining them in different categories here and that is for different timeline and again let's say if you want to work on the bar graph for example we want to simply showcase the category of products so we want to define the category in terms of rows so we want to showcase the visualization on category and the sales that we have recorded for those different categories so we can define the same thing by using multiple bar graphs so if you want to visualize this, the performance of furnitures on office supplies and also in terms of category then we can simply use the concept for bar graphs as well or if you want to visualize this on top of pie chart then we can create the entire pie chart we want to create a heat map out of it to have a clear cut dissension and how the entire source distribution was then we can create a heat map out of it as well and if you want to visualize okay what category of products are were sold in the entire globe then we can also use the data pointer for country itself for example let's say we remove these from this component for now from the tool tip now we want to see the distribution of categories for different countries now once we have any geospatial data then we can simply use the map section to visualize it in a much easier format for, so for country we only have one specific country itself not multiple so if you want to see the distribution based on cities as well then again in terms of distribution of for cities we can also visualize it in case we have multiple data set defined so suppose we have sales support for entire countries then we can go ahead and apply the same for entire countries as well now tableau have multiple data types available with us so in tableau we have data type available as boolean when we are defining any data type we can define what kind of data type we want to interpret we have the access to boolean data set we can work with date values we can work with date and time the text and string we can work with numbers and the numbers as whole numbers and then for geographical values we can define the geographical region names as in this it can be a city name this can be a pin code or it can be any state names as well now in terms of the entire data set now we had already seen how the entire ui works for tableau we had discussed on how we can connect to a data source in a tableau platform how we can get the access to multiple dimensions and measures so we can pick when whichever dimension we want to work on because the report what whichever dimension we choose that will be totally dependent upon what exactly the prompt statement is because suppose if our company has a question that needs to be solved as in which particular segment has been most profitable for the company and if there has been a downfall in the profits and which category it was observed for and at what timeline so for for solving th that kind of problem statement we have to choose the right dimensions and measures and then only we can get started and a dimension is a field that is in the completely independent variable and a measure is a field that is dependent variable and a value of function of more dimensions so basically dimension is like a parameter that we can define and measure is for example here we can see the entire dimensions as in customer name region but if you want to start visualizing it we want to solve the problem statement then we have to choose the measures for it and these are termed as dependent variables and in the right pane as we discussed we can see the entire possible visualization depending upon the data pointer that we have chosen for the r available data set and all the given data set are completely highlighted for the ones that are currently available for example currently we have access to only sales figures so for the, those sales figures we cannot have any kind of visualization done on top of map 
and to see which one to use and which particular graph to use where we can use this option such as visualization where we can use a bar graph when the entire dimension is discontinuous we can use the concept of the line graph which is basically preferred for dimensions now then we can use dual axis graph which is basically used to present two measures together geographical graph when we want to plot measures on geographical map area graph dual axis when we want to provide better comparison amongst measures and heat map to visualize variations across different categories so again thank you so much for joining and have a great day ahead take care bye bye